today I go ahead and showcase how I get all of these items so I can basically be OP every single time I start a game and I can farm these very, very quickly. Sit back, relax, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel as well. Let's get a word from our sponsor and most importantly, enjoy the video. GM, they basically go inside game and unlock the things you don't want to unlock or it's too big of a grind for you. They go in and do it for you. So say you're going out of town and you still want to grind on your account, then they'll actually do it for you. I definitely recommend them. They are trusted and safe. Link in description, code SPAZO for 5% off. All right, so spawning in game, you're going to want to head to the tier three zone. Now, when you do go to the tier three zone, you're just going to want to complete as much contracts as possible only if you cannot find these items we're going to be grabbing three self revives and three casimir grenades okay that is what you're going to be needing now each of these items cost 5,000 essence if you're going to purchase them so that's going to be 30,000 essence if you want to purchase them but nine times out of ten you can get the self revives beforehand and you only really need 15k you can get your perks do whatever you want to do but you will need three self revives and three casimir grenades for this strategy so we're going to head to the tier three zone farm some contracts and I'll see you guys then. All right, so we now have the items we need. We're going to be heading to the Dark Ether now. Uh, we have three Casimirs, three Self Revives. That is what we want. We got to make sure that we have this decoy when we do go, though, so we can get more. You don't need them. You don't need them for the strategy. There's been plenty of games I've did this and not used them, but I, I just have them equipped, so I might as well try and savor them. But okay, I'll see you guys inside of the Dark Ether. All right. So we should have two decoys now that we spawned in. Yeah, there we go. And some plates. Nice. Okay. So the first contract we're going to be going after is the extractors. Now we're going to be using the, uh, let's make sure we stow these. We're going to be using the Casimir grenades using or on the extractors. So that's why you need three because there's three extractors. And I usually say three self revives because that we're going to use those for the outlast contract. This is how I farm all of my items in the game. Now, no, you're not going to get the schematics, but you will get the acquisitions. Acquisitions? Um, but yeah. So, take it for what you want. Go ahead and grab this teddy bear. I love this teddy bear, man. I always have. Ugh. All right. Now, we got to make it up top. Run over here. We don't get hit by a hellhound. We don't need to pop our ether shroud, which you really want to try and save that. All right, so coming up to the first one, you're going to want to throw this directly on top of the extractor. So this is kind of how all of them are going to be. You're going to want to do that. Oh, my gosh, we just went down. These zombies aren't getting sucked into it because it's on the other side. Yeah, we might have made a bad throw. There they go. That was stupid. I don't know why the game did that. Ooh. All right, we're good. It's all right. We used one of our self revives. Not a big deal. It's Ether Shroud. We missed that uh, that jump. That was a terrible jump by me. All right, now this next one, we're gonna go ahead and just go throw it off this wall. Okay, we went down again. <laughs> that was not planned. Trust me. Go under this one like that. All right, we need to grab our Semtex. Throw that over there. I don't know. Yeah, we're not going to kill any. Okay, let's grab our decoys. We'll pop one this way. We'll pop another one. Here we go. Yeah, so that first Casimir grenade throw, that was kind of my fall. You don't want to throw it on the opposite side. You want to throw it on the side which you're going to be going to basically do the extractor. If that makes sense, it should. Throw that one right there. Now, this one's pretty nice because multiple zombies won't come to it. Um, if you do it pretty quick, you'll be able to get it done. Nice and easy. But yeah, that's usually how easy they all should be. I uh, did a terrible job. Let me get in this reward rift. Okay, there we go. Got one of those. All right, now we're going to do the Outlast contract. So if you have any Casimirs left, which a lot of times you will, because you won't always need them all. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head to this bus down here. You can follow the same path if you'd like. And we're going to go ahead and pick ourselves up the Outlast contract. So with this one, the strategy, I like to call it the death strategy, is you're going to want to basically just run around. You don't need guns for this strategy. Uh, 
any of them actually you don't need guns at all so i guess it helps a lot of people because not many people have you know their insurance ready or you don't have contraband or simply you just don't want to spawn in with a gun because you don't want to lose it it's all understandable so we have two self revives so we have two opportunities to go down and get back up so usually what i'll do is i'll wait for the zombies to come up the stairwell i'll try and stick to whatever one i want them all to come up and then i'll kind of just train them it, it goes by pretty quick all right the contract's definitely quick so you don't gotta worry all right we got to uh just continue the little train now i usually don't run up the stairwell i usually hop up through that side or the sides of them it just it seems like it's so much faster and easier than running around and actually getting hit so we're almost at 50 percent already but yeah it goes pretty quick it's two uh percents a second so that kind of gives you guys an idea how long you got to survive but don't get me wrong we could go down twice in the next five seconds it can happen that fast but the contracts are very simple now this ain't the hardcore version so obviously there's not as many zombies it's not as dangerous but this is the acquisition grind not the schematic grind i've been trying to work on a video of the uh what's it called the what is it called the other contract where you i forget but the other contract not this one not the, the extractor one the uh other one that is basically impossible for solo players i've been trying to work on a solo strategy for the f past few hours i'm getting close to figuring something out for everybody so you guys can kind of be waiting on that video maybe don't don't take my word for it because you might never see it but yeah so there we go elder sigil okay so now we can head to extraction which extraction point is always going to be at the top middle uh part so we we hit that second extractor that's where the extraction is going to be now you're going to come up here and you will see a pyramid you just go up to the ladder and there we go so we got two acquisitions you can just continue farming this doing this and then we did get the el elder which is going to put us in the hardcore mode if we do use it so that wraps it up for this it's very quick and simple the setup just takes a little bit but this is how i'm doing it you get a lot of legendary ether tools a lot okay i stack a lot doing this strategy but just try it out test it for whatever you own you can make your own little changes or whatever but thank you guys for watching hopefully you did enjoy if you did not forget to leave a like subscribe you guys know the deal and i'll see you guys in the next one boys i'm out peace